Oh, thank you, G-Man. But you know, I hear load shedding and I just want to like <gasps> boil over. But today we're going to help you to just take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. <sighs> because research, research have shown that people who exercise regularly have better mental health and emotional well-being and lower rates of mental illness. And here to take us through a workout that will be both mentally and physically stimulating is a fitness coach and ultra-marathon athlete, Coleman Valentino. I am here for it. We want to make sure our mindset is on the right track. 2023. Great. So I have a few mood lifting exercises for us. We're going to go up and down. We're going to go side to side. And there's going to be one exercise we're really going to focus and hold the pose with a bit of pulsing. Okay. Shall we get started? Yes, please. Okay. First one is we're going to go down into push-up position. Hands underneath the shoulders. So if you like your push-ups with your knees down, you're more than welcome to do that as well. So we just, if your knees are down, we're going to lift up the hips. You're going to reach opposite hand towards opposite ankle. Touch and then back again, plank pose, knees up or down, totally your choice. And then reach left hand towards the right ankle. This forces you to go up and down into a plank position. If you want more fitness out of this, nice and slow, you can add a push up, knees up or down, get those elbows into the ribs, drop the chest all the way down, maybe lift up, and then repeat just on the other side, opposite hand, opposite elbow. So this really gets the blood flowing towards the brain there, upside down there. And then we can move on to the next one. Next one, we're gonna walk feet up. We're gonna be standing up. So it's a bit of an energy booster here. So we're gonna go into jumping squats. Okay. So you wanna watch the knees for the jumping squats. You wanna sit back, hinge at the hip. There we go, into the heels. Those of you who don't wanna jump, we just lift the heels up and push the hips forward, squeeze the glutes, sit back. Really keep that spine nice and straight. And then lift up, legs. There we go. If you want to add a small jump, you can just add that small jump. There we go. Beautiful. I love how in sync we are. I prefer the jump because my balance is off. Oh, <laughs> but then you need to work on that balance. Definitely. <laughs> there we go. And then moving on to the other one, we're going to do with legs. We're also going to do a bit of twisting, touching the ankles. We're going to step the right leg out towards the side. Left leg straight, right leg bends like a side lunge here. We're going to touch the ankle, reach up with the opposite hand. And then bring the feet together for me. Step up with the left leg. Twist, reach for that ankle. There we go. Come back to center and twist. If you want to, you're more than welcome to add weight to this exercise. If you want more of a pump there, more of blood rushing to the brain for that dopamine. Bit of a mood lifter there. And then we're going to lastly come into an exercise. We're going to focus on balance, core, Bit of pulsing and focus. We're gonna sit down for this one. <sighs> Legs in front, so boat pose. Do you know what that is? No, please tell me. So we're gonna sit down like this and we're gonna lift up the knees to 90 degrees. Hands are gonna be out in front. Those of you who this is difficult for can put the heels on the ground but keep the knees bent. And we're just gonna pulse here. We're gonna really flex the chest forward, reaching and then pulse up and down. So this focuses Really on the abs here, a bit on the shoulders as well, and on the legs, squeezing the inner thighs again. I want you to get those toes up, kick through the heels. There we go. Oh, it Beautiful. Burns. Do you feel that core? Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, for how long do we have to do this? <laughs> <laughs> I was testing to see how long you can go. <laughs> There, so I was a bit worried. <laughs> okay, one last ex exercise for the mood lifter is a bit of twisting. So we're gonna add another squat, but we're gonna squat, then we're gonna jump to the side and down. There we go. We're gonna jump forward and down. Forward, more of an energy boost here. So if you did the first squat with the heels down and you wanna level up, you're more than welcome to do this one. Forward and to the left, there we go forward. Now I'll give you a little bit of an advanced version of this. So we're going to jump all the way back, squat, twist. Oh, back, we're doing a little 180 twist, twist. And back forward again, yeah. So that is level up from the side to side jump there. You so those are the exercises you can do just to get that blood running. I'm winded. Are you winded? I am winded. You feel energized? Definitely. I'm definitely feeling energized. The okay, dopamine great. levels are there. Great, now great, this great. morning on social media, every morning we start the show off with a good morning post. And this morning is all about healthy eating, that vibe right now. So what's your favorite healthy snack at the moment? Uh, 
I would say just a nice, easy bar on the go with nuts. Uh, yeah, with a lot of protein in it, with a lot of nuts, because protein helps to keep you fuller for longer. And then when it comes to dinner, I always add like broccoli or something green. Uh, always add the greens. Yeah, greens. And yeah, fruit, fruit, fruit throughout the day is really good <laughs> as well. So yeah, I try to stay away from dairy. It tends to make you a little bit sluggish, a little bit low on energy. So protein, vitamins, minerals, yeah, greens. Definitely. Fantastic, yeah. Mr. Valentino. We appreciate you being here. Thank you for awesome. literally putting me through my paces, but it Always was all a for a good course. There you have it, some good exercises to make you feel great.